Hey, Becoming Me. I am so excited to introduce you to my warrior friend, Justin. Justin, welcome to Becoming Me. Great. Thank you. Glad to be here. I am so excited to have you here. And y'all, we have had a warrior conversation with Justin and his co-founder, Kevin, of Battle Tested. We'll have the show note, le- the links in the show notes, um, so you can easily watch that and connect. But um, today, I'm excited to dive into your story and who you are and how God has designed and equipped you. So before we get there, though, Justin, if someone was a new friend, like you're meeting them for the first time, just introduce yourself. Like, who is Justin? Yeah, so I just kind of started out uh, from college. I kind of start there. I was a track and field athlete and started kind of my becoming story there and, and ran track in college. They went on to grad school and was a graduate assistant coach for a while, then stepped into coaching. And mm-hmm. for about eight years, I coached at college at the college level, decided it was not for me, got out of that. And in the, the midst of that, developed an, an awesome network. Uh, then s- since moved to Dallas and at the tail end of my coaching, I was uh, fortunate enough to be on the sh- show American Ninja Warrior. I was a, a two-time contestant there with American Ninja Warrior. That was uh, my last two years of coaching. And then got out of Dallas, got here, or I'm sorry, got out of coaching, got here to Dallas. And then from there was able to really dive into the Ninja Warrior community, which just really opened up a lot of different doors, which I'm sure we'll kind of go in mm-hmm. a little bit of detail later on what those were. Um, I've done music since college. I started an FCA, led worship in the college ministry, and then just started playing weddings once people figured out I could be cheap and uh, free entertainment. They uh, <laughs> asked me to play some weddings and I just grew from there. I've got a, a little bit of uh, experience playing in like restaurants and, and bars and different things like that through my time at uh, Tarleton where I coached in Texas Tech and then um, yeah, I've, I've just been playing and music is also a big part of my life now. And so currently living in Dallas, going to church here, I have a great men's group that I met Kevin, I met him through a great men's group in Frisco, Texas, my church here in Dallas, Texas, that I'm a part of. And so just trying to live my best life through battle tested and through music and through just my community here in uh, Dallas and everybody I've been fortunate enough to meet through that. That's amazing. And we also have a mutual friend in Nate, another ninja who has shared his becoming story, which is cool. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Okay. So we have like all of the things that you, you've accomplished a lot and you've had so many incredible experiences from coaching to being on American Ninja Warrior, what you're doing with Battle Tested. Um, And so we can see a lot of who you are, right? But I would love for you right now to take some time and unpack your story, like the journey of becoming who you are today. What's your story, Justin? Yes. I grew up in a small town in Texas outside of Waco. And it's, it's called Lorena, Texas. And as you can tell, it's very country, very, very humble beginnings. Um, you know, grew up just kind of blue collar. Dad worked um, very loving family. Awesome. But I, I think I uh, attribute a lot of kind of my upbringing to kind of who I am today with really value, hard work ethic and everything. It served me very, very well through kind of college. And so just kind of fast forward that is, is even through college. I kind of had uh, a faith that was that was important to me, but wasn't the the center focus of you know who I am and my motivation and and my driving force. It was it was a part of me, but it wasn't the center focus. And so from there, I was saved at a very young age, and you know always knew who God was and, and prayed. But um, it wasn't until a little bit after college where I really discovered my own faith, and then um, you know fast forward through getting out of coaching and. Um, I kind of realized that there were some things that in my life that weren't really what they needed to be. I had a lot of unfulfillment in my life and and I had just enough where I knew there was something greater out there and faith was a big part. I just didn't have my foot completely in that door committed to to letting faith lead me. And so with that, I had a lot of unfulfillment and, and that resonated with just coaching, just trying to be the best division one coach I could be. That was my aspirations. And so with that comes, you know, fulfillment through, validations of of success in your job, which obviously no matter how successful you are, there's always something that you could be achieving that that creates a void, right? Um, and through uh, through American Ninja Warrior, that was amazing. I, I used my career as a coach to kind of set my story 
to, to get me accepted on the show. And so I didn't perform like I wanted to on the show. And with that come a lot of heartbreak and a lot of, you know, um, gut wrenching, ground breaking or ground shaking. You know, who are you? Like your, your validation is in this that you, you put so much emphasis on the success that it was going to bring you for so many things. And so I think with, with all those things, I was, I was having a lot of success as a coach. I was a national championship coach, national coach of the year and junior college and in division two at Tarleton and the junior college I was working for at the time. And I had a lot of great impact moments with athletes that was really fulfilling, you know, through, through different things and relationships that I still have today. But without faith, you see there's there's a big emphasis there that it's a God sized hole that that can only fill. And you can mm -hmm. kind of distract and you can temporarily fill that void. But there's nothing that really satisfies. And so that's what kind of led me to realize coaching wasn't really where I, I felt my calling was ultimately guiding me to be. And I had just this huge draw to Dallas and God just opened up some amazing doors with ex athletes that I had coached that since got me uh, in connection with their job to get a job in Dallas and church friends that I'd met previously and friends through Ninja Warrior that gave me some faith-based books and some different things that really helped change my life and put me on this path that I've been on for a little bit over four years now to really fully submitting and committing to the faith, faith walk. And it's, it's just every year has gotten better and better. And it's just been astounding how God has used just one thing after the next and things that were set up. Um, and a ninja warrior and different things through relationships and things I've been able to be a part of. It's just mesmerizing to me still looking back to see where I started and where God has brought me uh, from there. That's incredible. Thank you for sharing your story, like where you've been and then where God continues to lead you. Um, it's always fun to look back on our becoming journeys and see how we've grown and how God's like just hand is on us every step of the way. Um, I'm curious, and I feel like I know this about you, but I can't remember. Are you a coffee drinker? <laughs> I am indeed a coffee drinker. Okay. Yes. For oh. my uh, track ninja mug. This was my name whenever I was on Ninja Warrior. Some of my friends made it for me when I was show. <laughs> That's amazing. I like it. And that makes perfect sense. Track ninja. I'm, I like yeah. it. That's good. Yeah. So how do you drink your coffee? It's just straight black. Just me like too. Black. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Straight up. I like yeah. it. Just straight. I just need some caffeine. I love, love the flavor now. It's a little tough first drinking it, but uh, I just need the caffeine. Just give it straight. Agreed. Okay. So if you were having a cup of coffee straight up with somebody mm -hmm. else on their own becoming journey, and they're kind yeah. of talking with you, sharing their story, what would yeah. you say to encourage them? Um, yeah, I think the, the best piece of advice I was given is um, is just kind of know the word that God has placed on your heart. It's it's been given to you and only you know it. And it's your job to take that spark and turn it into a bonfire, right? And I think so many times, and this was this was kind of my story, but so many times I see men and women that are afraid to afraid to fail, afraid to do it wrong. And I'd say the encouragement that I would give them is that uh, just use the passions and use the talents that you've been given to drive that and to help you figure out what that purpose is. And I think that the biggest thing I would say with the failure, you know, that's such a big failure for, for anyone. And I think that the big thing that I would say is that the only, the only way you can fail is just to, to not pursue that. And those failures sometimes can be the biggest lessons to then continue you on that journey. That can be really big turning points to give you that wisdom necessary. And that's, that's the biggest purpose that I did not have was just, I didn't realize, and I, I was living it out. Now looking back, I was living it out. I just didn't realize that's what it was. And so I, I could have done it so much better. And, you know, there's 2020, you know, we can always do things better. 2020 hindsight vision, but I'll say that's the biggest, the biggest form of just completion that you can have is realizing that purpose and knowing that you're a part of something bigger than yourself. Right. And knowing that you don't have to carry that weight on your own shoulders. Yeah, no, that's so wise. Like, and I agree. I like to say I'm a recovering perfectionist. I'm an Enneagram type one INTJ, like always trying to make it perfect. And that's uh, what I love about becoming. Sure. Like 
I will never be perfect, but I can be becoming. So I'm going to fall a lot. I'm going to fail a lot, but I'm going to grow through it. So yeah. those are words of wisdom. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, Absolutely. Tell me a little bit about Battle Tested. I know we have a warrior conversation and that's linked in the show notes. Um, but tell us about yeah. Battle Tested if someone hadn't heard about that yet. Yeah. So Kevin, he was the founder of it. And we met last year at this men's group I was speaking on a little bit earlier in uh, Frisco and met Kevin, uh, starting getting a little little bit more aligned in December. We had a conversation and he brought me on board in January. We've really just been exploding it since then. And it's been it's been incredible. The people we've been able to network with and reach through our men's group, through the support that we have there with a lot of the guys that that have a lot of wisdom and growing a business and different things. Um, but it's been incredible. Just like you said, we're, we're still becoming we're still figuring out as, as we go along the way. But we're getting a little bit more a little bit more traction with support and people we've been able to align with through that platform. And that's just another platform like uh, Ninja Warrior was to help connect me with some people I would not have had the opportunity to connect with otherwise. And we're starting to see this really resonate with people. And we're still getting better with sharpening our, you know, our elevator pitch and sharpening our mission and our visions. And as we do that, we just see, you know, the doors open as we still get a little bit more, you know, like kind of stepping into that unknown. And it's mm-hmm. been awesome. It's been humbling. And it's, you know, it's been like, oh, we don't know what we're doing. We're not, you know, and we, we, we. And then it just makes you think, it's like, look, it, your, your perspective is off. It's not we, it's it's mm-hmm. handing it over to, to what God can do with that and trusting in that and taking that step. Like I was talking about earlier, taking that step of faith into the unknown and letting God mm-hmm. do what he will do with that by just being obedient with what we feel in our heart, those passions, those, those skills and talents that we do have, leaning on those to let God direct those and where those are. And that's, that's very difficult. Sometimes you don't hear from them and that's just a stay, stay persistent, stay faithful. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden we'll just get two or three things pop up that, you know, like you, for example, mm-hmm. and the connection we made through seeing me and Nate hang out. Yep. And so it's been incredible. Yeah. And I'll just talk a little bit on that. Um, so you don't have to go directly to the podcast, but it's just a faith-based apparel company. Uh, but that's the platform, but really it's a community that we're trying to establish. Mm-hmm. We're trying to establish a community of anyone that's gone through a battle, which is everyone. And knowing that you don't have to go through it alone, you can link with people that have been on the other side of it. You can link people, link with people that are currently going through it themselves to create a community to give you strength and encouragement to share some wisdom or maybe just a word to help you get through it on the other side. And then as you get through that on the other side, you reach back to those people that are currently going through the storm that you just passed through. And so it's a mouthful, right? And so we're, we're learning to condense that down. But essentially, that's what we've we've kind of in our hearts kind of created this. Kevin's got his own story that is just remarkable mm-hmm. in in his battle that he's come through. And, and you know, I have my story and, um, you know, my nephew is, is special needs. And that's a big part of our community that there's a huge special needs with awareness Mm-hmm. And and just all of the the huge tremendous support that that goes into that, and so we brought Kevin and my 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 story with everything I've been able to do, and brought that to battle tested, and it's been incredible the people we've been able to connect with through that community of the support, and then the apparel, and then what we've been able to bridge, and mm-hmm. really cool things to come. I can't really speak on yet, but uh, really cool things to come with some partnerships mm-hmm. that we have just been approved for, but we have to then go through the legal legality issues of it before we can really release that. But we're really excited about some things that, that have come about. So cool. yeah, in a nutshell, it's more than an apparel company. You know? mm-hmm. but that's just kind of our, our platform support. It's, it's a community group that we're learning and wanting to just people just to help us expand that and, and teach us how we can be impactful to, uh, to those that feel that that resonate with our message. Oh, that's incredible. I literally love um, the tagline. Everyone has a battle. How are you fighting yours? You know, Justin, if somebody was like battle tested sounds epic. And also all of Justin's story sounds so cool. I want to connect with him and battle tested. How can people connect with you online? So we have a real big presence on Instagram right now. Uh, We're rolling out our website. We have a website, but you can find it right there through our Instagram, kind of getting that started up. My Instagram is justin.g.hobbs you'll see my picture on there and then in my my profile you'll see battle tested which is battle tested 
uh, CC Battle Testing Clothing Company. But you can find that link through um, my Instagram. Um, also, Kevin is on there. Kevin Ireland, without a D. Uh, love for you guys to connect with us and share your story. And we're very active on Instagram. And so if you message us on any any platform, either mine or Battle Tested, we will get back with you. And um, so we're just encouraging everybody to go to our, our Instagrams and try to connect with us there if you're interested. Absolutely. And we'll have the links for those Instagram accounts in the show notes. You can easily connect and follow. But as we wrap up your becoming story today, Justin, is there any final words of encouragement that you would want to share with someone else? Yeah, I think we just, we love connection with people. And uh, like I said, we're still learning this. And so I think that every connection helps us know how we can be better, how we can sharpen things up on our end. And I think that it's, it's a very strong culture that we're we're creating, we've already created, and we're just excited to link with people. So, I mean, the best I can, I can say is that we're, we're, of course, we're an apparel company, but sometimes we forget to mention that you can go online and buy clothes because we're just so excited to connect with people. And I, I think that's what it's mainly about is just mm-hmm. encourage you to find your space. And, and if you resonate with what we have, of course, we'd love to connect with you, but mm-hmm. just with my, um, what has given me so much purpose is, mm-hmm just leaning into those talents and those passions that God has put into my heart. So I think overall um, connection with people, whether that be us, which we would hope, but I think finding your niche and finding where your talents are, are best served. Right. And everyone has, uh, you know, we talk about a lot in our men's group, everybody has a 1% and it's your job to find your 1% that only you can bring to the world that God can only use through you to affect the community that you're around through that 1%. And it could be one person. And if it's one person and that one person goes on to invent the next light bulb, it's like, wow, what you just walking in your purpose naturally affected the world so much. I mean, people people don't think about that. Like, what can I do? Just little me. I don't know. But God is so big that all you have to do is just be true to yourself and your purpose and walk in your passion and your mission. And you'll be, you'll be surprised if you, if you really lean into that, what God can do with it. And so that's, that's just my encouragement that served me so well through the years. So I think that's my that's takeaway I can leave you guys with. Some warrior words of wisdom. Drop the mic. That is amazing. Right. Thank you. <laughs> Well, Justin, thanks for sharing your becoming story, who you are, who you're becoming. Um, Thanks for how you are leveraging your life to equip other people. What you're doing matters. It's significant. It makes a difference. And um, I'm just cheering you on as you're becoming you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for the support and the opportunity to hop on here and join your, your podcast. Thank you.